And welcome to the News at 6 on this Halloween. I'm Morgan Romero. And I'm Doug Petcash. The Secretary of State is asking people to help them prevent misinformation from harming the upcoming election. They're doing it through a new election misinformation reporting portal. And on the Secretary's website, people can submit social media posts that provide incorrect information or otherwise mislead people from the truth. News Channel 7's Andrew Bartline spoke with the Secretary of State's office today. And Andrew, they're walking kind of a fine line between free speech and ensuring a fair election, right? And the Secretary of State's office is sort of leading toward the idea that censorship is not necessarily the answer, although that could potentially be an outcome in certain situations. Perhaps the solution more often, though, is more speech, providing more context and more correct information. To do that, the office first needs to know where these corrections are needed. Headed into the 2022 general election, the Secretary of State's office is taking an extra precaution, providing people an opportunity to report election misinformation circulating online. And they begin to impact the confidence that folks have in the election system in Idaho and across the country. Chad Houck is Idaho's chief deputy secretary of state. He says other countries, including North Korea, China, Russia, and Iran, have attempted to influence American elections with social media posts, a problem that's grown with time. But even domestic actors and, and local actors in some cases, pushing information around on the internet and trying to balance the scales of what is First Amendment free speech and what is simply uh, malicious, negative, incorrect information. The secretary's office has relationships with social media sites, including Facebook and Twitter. Houck says they aren't looking to censor speech, but rather respond with more information and context. Most of the time you're going to have a First Amendment issue. It's really, as I said, a matter of putting up the counter information, countering that narrative. But to find the narratives, the secretary's office could use help. Within minutes, I found tweets surrounding Idaho's elections. Here's the first. So that one's actually pretty easy. It states the election is on November 8th. That's a true statement, but it later adds, quote, Republicans are anti-democracy. Whether you agree or disagree with this particular gentleman's tweet, the things that he stated as fact that are fact factual based, the date of the election, those types of things, those are accurate. Uh, the, remaining, the remaining things in the tweet are opinion. And uh, he's completely entitled to his opinion, whether or not someone disagrees with it, agrees with it or otherwise. OK, so what about this one? It reads, quote, if you haven't heard, Idaho is a mail in state and they have already found bags of ballots in the river. That's one we'd want to see. And again, that's not one we're necessarily I mean, we're not looking at trying to take that down, but that's the type of change that we want to understand that are out there, the narratives that we want to see that are out there, because those are the things that do blow up into larger theories. Houck adds there have been no reports of bagged ballots in a river, and Idaho is not a mail-in state by default. An example of that would be Washington state. This post has several factual errors. We always face new threats, new challenges, antagonists within the space that are trying to break down the credibility of, of the American democracy. In order to continue to sustain the things that we have for so many years now, over 200 years, we've got to continue to fight in the election space. And that's that's what we do. Houck says their final mission is to ensure a fair, safe, clean election. And this is just one of their latest tools to ensure that outcome. We'll have the link to this reporting portal on our website at KTVB.com. Andrew, I love how you gave concrete examples. Like these are actually things that are out there that you can, you know, demystify. They're not hard to find either, no. which was the shocking part. When I heard about this, I thought, how big of a need is this? Five minutes on Twitter, you'll find them. Yeah, needed now more than ever. All right, Andrew Bartline, thank you. And for more election info, including what's going to be on your ballot, interviews with candidates, how to find your polling location, and more, check out our KTVB Voter Guide. It's on our website right now, or you can text the word VOTE to the number on your screen. 208-321-5614. We'll send a link directly to your phone.